Hey guys, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, as we start the week off here, we'd appreciate it if you take a minute just to smash that thumb. Thank you very much. And of course, we want to know what you're playing today. Put those plays in the comments section. You get them right. Hey, we'll give you the shout out and you get enough of them right. You could be the capper of the day. Uh, quick thanks to everybody that tuned into our live broadcast last night as we took a look at the NFC Championship game. Had some fun. Actually got a decent game for a change, so that was uh, that was cool. And, of course, I want you to check us out every day. A little show that I do with my partner, Scott Reichel, called Heading Back to the Window with Scott and Scott. Every day right here on the YouTubes as we do that 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at yesterday's action. It was, in a word, uh, shitty. It was... Everything that I had pretty much was predicated on the Chiefs not shitting the bed, and they absolutely shit the bed. As far as our play of the day, had the two-team prop parlay, really got off to a nice start. Mahomes, the first drive of the game, breaks free for 12 yards, gets a first down. In fact, we're, we're better than a third of the way there. We're almost halfway there, and uh, yeah, that was pretty That was pretty much it as far as uh, Mahomes. Uh, he did get some rushing yards late. I'm going to see what he... I, I don't actually know what he what he ended up with. I know he didn't get there. He got 19 was his total in three rushing attempts. So, uh, yeah, not good. And then on the other half of that, we had Mixon under 55 and a half. And he started slow, couldn't get anything going. He did bust a couple and uh, just enough to uh, bust our nut there, so to speak. On the premium side, again, I uh, was pretty invested in this Chiefs team. They had the over 54 and a half. Uh, yeah. As we put up, what did we put up? 20, 31 in the uh, in the first half. Should have been 38. It should have at least been 34. And, uh, yeah, didn't get there. Man, those three points might have come in handy for the Chiefs, huh? Um, and then we had a, uh, we played a two-team teaser with the Chiefs down to one. Niners up to nine and a half. So uh, half of that went okay, but you know how it works. So, uh, yeah, shitty day for the Chiefs. Shitty day for yours truly. So, uh, you know what? Turn the page. I got my Royals shirt on. It's baseball season. Chiefs who? Man, I don't know. So congratulations to the Bengals. Congratulations to the Rams. Um, yeah, they both did both did a nice job there. Uh, Rams got off the uh, off the 0-6 Schneid against the Niners, and uh, Cincinnati uh, returns to the Super Bowl for the first time since '88. So they came ready to play. They didn't give up early, and uh, they hung around and let the uh, Chiefs implode there in the second half. So there you go. All right, well, moving on. As they say, let's take a look at today's action. We're going to take a look at uh, probably the marquee game of the day. This is the Duke Blue Devils and the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. Uh, Irish at home catching five and a half. We're going to take the five and a hook right here. You know, Irish are one of the hottest teams in the country. They won 10 of their last 11. They've covered seven of their last eight. And at home, they are uh, in conference play. They are a perfect 4-0 and straight up and against the spread. Uh, they don't have a lot of depth. They've got to stay out of foul problems, especially Atkinson. Uh, because they don't really have a backup big man. In fact, I probably wouldn't be surprised to see him play small ball at time and uh, give up give up uh, some shots inside to try to get one of the uh, Duke bigs to match up with uh, Luziski on the perimeter and get him to bang home some threes. Um, the Devils, obviously a really good team, but they are pretty untested on the road. They've gone just 2-2 two and two on the road this season. And uh, in their last game, they were tied with Louisville, Late in that game before pulling away at the end. Um, Notre Dame playing good basketball right now. I think the home crowd is going to be fired up. Step aside, Cameron Crazies. Get ready for the Joyce Center Psychos. Give me the Notre Dame Fighting Irish plus the five and a half. At the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. All right, guys, you know how I did yesterday. Hopefully some of y'all did better. And indeed you did. How about Brandon Zerfus going 1-1 one one plus 290? Oscar Delgado. Good to see Oscar back. What's up, brother? Nice to welcome back, my friend. 3-2 uh, and two plus 80. And uh, we've got a three-way tie. Well, actually, we have a two-and-a-half-way tie. Big Dog put up his plays uh, late. So he went 3-0 and oh plus 300. We believe him. Of course, can't officially be part of the capper of the day. So your official capper of the day, Legion of, Pick, Legion of Picks, 1-0-1. One and, one oh and one. Plus 400. He had the Rams minus three. Nicely done there, bud. Uh, Thomas McCool goes 1 0 plus 500. He faded my Chiefs. He had Cincinnati plus 7.5. Nice job, Thomas. And like I said, Big Dog checking in a little bit late. 
We'll give him an honorary title as well. So, Legion and Thomas, congratulations, gentlemen. You guys are the cappers of the day. Well done, boys. And well done to the rest of you that made a little money there on Championship Sunday. Let's get ready for a big week. It's uh, it's just about all basketball time, guys. Obviously, Super Bowl here in a couple of weeks, but uh, it's hoops, baby. So, let's, uh, let's get psyched. Let's take those sweats off. I'm going in. Let's get ready to make some money. You guys take care. Have a great day. Uh, and don't forget, check us out uh, a little bit later today, 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. Scott and I will do our best to help you in your journey to head back to the window. Take care, everybody.